Okay, everybody. Hello and welcome back to a brand new KSP video. In this video, I am going to... It's a sort of small tutorial. I might make a few of these. Um, and this is a tutorial on how to make a really nice looking small-ish business jet. So private jet. I'm gonna do this first one in the Mark 1 style. I am gonna stress first thing as just the first thing I am using DLCs and I am using this is the one mod I'm using that w you will need I am using the mod Airplane Plus which adds a bunch of new parts for building aircraft in any style really that you want you can see here I've got quite a lot of other part mods but we're going to be really focusing just on the airplane plus parts and the stock parts so i hope i i don't miss anything and and in any case let's begin so in the mark one style we can either use this a very very sleek which is one of the stock spacecraft parts um, we could either use this, but this is more designed for hypersonic and other, like, more space plane designs. Airplane Plus has this cockpit, though, which is a very nice alternative, which I think has a very, very similar mass. Yes, it does. Um, and this alternative is proper business style. In fact, it says literally here, business cockpit. But, what you could also use in the place of this is, um, you could use, if you're planning to go for something bigger, I'm going to make a tutorial on 1.5 size, which is a larger size of aircraft parts, which has a similar style. And then there's also two, size two, there's, and there's a bunch of other sizes. But, the one we're going to be focusing on today in this tutorial is a Mark I business cockpit. So you start off with your part, then you're going to need to go down to the aerodynamics tab, down to the small nose cone stubby. This fits actually perfectly with the profile of the nose here, we, and I think it's probably designed for that as well. So next part that you're going to need to add is obviously this is depending on what you're going to want to carry so you could go to structural um, scroll down until you find your structural fuselage and you can put those in and inside those if you just zoom in until you're inside you can put in obviously something like batteries let's say that yeah you can put in like these batteries, put in these batteries, put in these big batteries, um, and you can put anything else, but I'm designing this in a crude style. Um, so, make sure, you, and now you're just going to need to use the stock part of the Mark 1 crew cabin. And, as I said, this does fit rather perfectly with the profile. We can continue to add as many of these as you want, but I settled for two here. The next part you're going to want to add is you're going to want to add a fuel, f fuel fuselage part. Just liquid fuel. Just liquid fuel. So now that we've added that, we can choose which tail connector we can have. And this is depending on your style, because I I quite like this, um, because what you can do is you can add these nice tailplane bits quite easily, and then add this, um, and this looks already quite nice, but in the proper style of a jet, you should use tail connector B. Now I don't know why this is, I think it's probably a glitch in the game, in, well in the mod, but for some reason the texture is completely white here 
and doesn't have any detail which makes it stand out not very nicely with all the other parts so still we are going to need to use it so we've got this down next part we're going to want to do is next part we're going to want to add sorry is to add a canard or a tail fin now depend again depending on your style you can either choose this which is very very aerodynamic sleek looking and yeah very very aerodynamic part designed for supersonic flight or you could use the subsonic variant of just the normal tail fin um, and I would suggest offsetting the tail fin slightly down into the tail piece. Next part you're going to want to add is another set of two tail fins. And here you're going to want to add them here, but making sure that you have no snap, so it's in this circle. So what you're going to want to do is rotate this down to the right angle so that it doesn't look weird um, then depending on how you do this you could like you could angle the wings a bit or angle them up or down but I choose to angle them usually just a little bit up even that's too much already and this just makes it so that when you've got your when you've got all your engines running you don't have problems with uh, how everything works now i suggest which is something i haven't done actually and i just remind, reminded myself now is that for all of this build you keep into your head your sen your aerodynamic overlay and your center of mass overlay your center of thrust is not going to be important for most of the build so you've got all of that and now you can see you've got a very nice tail design here. Um, obviously, as as I as I continue to elaborate, always make it always adjust it to the to how you want it to look. So the next part we're going to need to add is, and this is very very subjective, so you can really go anywhere with how you want this to work. Um, but what I decide for my main wing is I usually use, if I can find it, there it is, I use the FAT455 airplane tail fin. This is meant for Mark III large space planes. But here what we can do is we can use it to make to to our advantage we can because this is a rather large part and our aircraft is rather small we can offset that nicely like if you just give me a moment you can offset it nicely to make it actually look like a wing and it already has control surfaces built into it now I don't know why my, my aerodynamic overlay isn't updating to the fact that I've now placed this part down. Um, but, in any case, here we are. Now here, you're going to want to deactivate your and deactivate roll. Here, you're going to want to go onto the controls, deactivate and just deactivate your. Here, you want to go and just do roll and pitch. And here I suggest you put the authority limiter to full and here you just keep the authority limiter how you want it. Here reduce it to 20 degrees. Now once you've done all of that it's time to add just the little finicky bits that aren't completely necessary. Uh, and, but apart from this bit got all the KSP and stellar extended parts here but and your yeah and your won't be your part list won't be as cluttered but here you want to go down until you find this the J34 Chevron high pipe bypass turbofan engine 
Now this is a quite is a very very small jet engine, as you can probably tell. Um, but this engine, I would like you to place at the back of your craft. Now this now makes it so that looking on, you can deactivate your views just so you can get a better observation of what it looks like. This makes gives it a really really proper private jet feel to it. Um, there is another way to do this, apart from by using these. What you can use, what you can go is into your air, if you just want to use stock parts, you can go to your aerodynamic tab, and you can get the engine cell. Add to the front of this a circular intake, and to the back a Weezy, we, Weasley turbofan engine. This provides a nice engine pod. This I suggest for a larger and more, what should I call it? More, lo yeah, just larger and longer designs because doing all of this, even though it keeps a really, really nice profile as you can see, um, doesn't really work. So if you have Airplane Plus and you are following everything like I've done, then I really suggest this, the chevron. Offset it, as usual. Rotate it. Offset it again so that it looks perfect. Rotate it a bit more so it looks right in the right position. And look at the back now. If you can see that these wingtips are slightly clipped into the back, and if you can see from an aerial view that they're slightly angled outwards, in fact, this could even be a little bit too much, um, that means you've done it all correctly. Good job. So, the engine placement is the most finicky part of the whole process. Now comes the easy part. Go to your ground tab and switch your snap back on. Use your sm use the classic small landing gear. Which you can put place I like to place just at the edge here. And then this part is completely your choice. What you can do is you could add another two um, of these um, you can place them right here but that doesn't really look very good my suggestion if you have Air airplane plus here my suggestion is that you add these these are landing gears that are slightly set off um, you could also add these but that's for when you're building really really big big craft and so I suggest that we leave these for our next tutorial. These could also be used uh, but obviously if they are a bit bigger because they right now they do not look exactly how we want them to. Um, so yes anyways everybody I think that wraps it up gives it give it a nice name Bob um, and send it off for its first flight. Let's see here. Now, I am recording this on my new PC, which is probably why you can see a significant FPS increase from when I was recording stuff on my old one. Anyways, here we are, now back. You can see my lighting looks a bit orange. Um, I'm not quite sure why that is, I think, though, it's because I have a, a mod installed. I can't remember if I've still got it installed here. Hold on, let me zoom out here. Oh, yeah, I forgot to disinstall it. It's the Oasis system mod. Um, and the star here is just stupidly bright. So it gives, it gives all the planets back here a really, really red lighting. Anyways, back to where we were. 
Now, with these jet engines have got quite good performance. So, to demonstrate that, let's bring this for a spin. You see the iron bill here. As we run down the runway, it shouldn't take you too long until you take off. I mean, I don't quite know what's happening there. Um, well, as you can see, the jet engines have got quite strong performance. Um, so, this will require probably some extra little bit of finicky tweaking, just to make sure everything works And sometimes, if you're cruising, or if you're just flying normally, don't activate the engines to their they are quite powerful for the size of the craft that you're doing. So if, you're if you're following this program, uh, there we are. Let's go. Hey! Whoa! No! As you can see. Anyways, with this bit of a failure and my impudence to not stop recording, I will finish this video off on this interesting note. I hope this works for all you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video.